Hey, sweetheart, what are you doing? I thought she was your favorite doll. If I do the witch, she won't be allowed to go to kindergarten. Did your teacher tell you to do this? Sweetheart, let's not paint her just yet, okay? Why is my daughter painting her dolls? Well, uh, I, I don't know why. Come on. What were you thinking when you told a four-year-old girl she couldn't bring her black doll to kindergarten? What? Uh, I didn't say that. Here, we have totally friendly space. Children are treated the same. <laughs> Both. Ordinary kids and special ones. Uh -huh. I'm glad we both understand each other. <laughs> Have a nice day. So, how did everything go, darling? What can I say? She called dark-skinned children special. She almost managed to hide it, but she's definitely a racist. Our daughter doesn't deserve to grow up in this kind of atmosphere. Shall we talk to the director? No. That's not enough. I'm calling the police. Don't do that. Why? I have an idea. Sheila. Hey. Meet Claire, our new teacher. Please guide her through the two weeks training course and uh, show her how we do things here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eddie's soldier. She's amazing. Well, welcome to the family. Thank you. Please make yourself at home. So, where do I start? Listen, um, have I seen you here before? You know, you have a very familiar face. <laughs> I don't recall. No, I'm almost sure I've met you somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, what's your name? Her name is Lily. Very nice, Lily. Mom. <laughs> this is not your mom, Lily. This is our new teacher. She cannot be your mom. Can't you see that? <laughs> Go. Go and play. Mm -hmm. She has a vivid imagination. Do you have a antiseptic? Yeah, yeah, sure. If I had known that this girl was here, I would have taken mine home. Are there many of her kind? Her kind? Yes, you know what I mean. I have nothing against her, but it's not right that girls of her kind should be mixing with ones from good families. What are you talking about? You are here less than 30 minutes, and you are saying awful things about our children. Where did you get the idea that such kind of statements are acceptable here? I have to report about this to Mr. Miller. Let's go. Do you really, really think in 21st century that African-American children are not as good as others? Yes. Um, it is obvious. <laughs> I've been waiting for you for so long. And finally, <laughs> I found a person I can work with. <laughs> 
No offense, but I had to check on you. You understand, it's a really hard topic. And of course, I know. It's really hard. Have you seen this brownie today? Can you imagine? Her father showed up today and started dizzing me. And what did I do? I just asked her not to show her ugly dolls to other kids. I don't want other people getting their own idea. But I have a plan. Can I count on you? Good evening. What happened? Miss Foster, Emily has lost her doll. We've looked basically everywhere. She definitely had it with her this morning. You know, Dylan also brought a stuffed dinosaur and I can find it. So maybe you can tell us where our children's toys are. Good evening. Is everything okay here? Yes, Mr. Miller. <laughs> but actually, no. You see, some of children's toys are missing and... Um... And I have an idea who might have done that. What? What's up? Um... I have no right to get into children's personal belongings. So it would be better if you open this backpack and show us what's inside. Why would I do that? You see, we've got very unpleasant situation. And usually they arise around children like Lily. Stealing habits are manifested in such families since an early age, even from the birth. Mrs. Foster, please refrain from jumping to conclusions. These kinds of statements are absolutely incorrect, especially in relation to children. So? Okay, I'll do it. Yes, please. I just want our kindergarten to be a safe place. And uh, stealing is unacceptable. What? But they were there, definitely. Wait a minute. What made you think that? Uh, you see, I, 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 I thought that uh, just because of... Um, because Claire and I saw Lily put them in there. And uh, we just didn't want to scold the child. <sighs> but to show it to her father in the evening so he could take some measures. Right, Claire? You want me to confirm that my child still stores? No, 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 Claire, not your child, Lily. Yes, Lily is my daughter, as she openly said today, but your races couldn't fathom that. What? I got a job here because I had a feeling that my daughter was being treated with contempt and I wanted to see it for myself. describe how disgusted I was when I found out that my daughter had painted her favorite doll white against her will because that's what the teacher said. It is unacceptable to put those kind of thoughts into a child's head. Our children should know that the person is defined by the actions, not the color of their skin. Mrs. Foster, you're fired. What? But wait, I... I have an experience. I have honors and I did all that because I love, really love children. Stop and talking right now and listen to me carefully. I'm letting you go immediately. And if I have anything to do with it, you will never work with children again in this town or any other. 
So just grab your things and go. You're done with this business. We'll see. I'm truly sorry about that. Please accept my apologies, you little lovebirds. You know.